Hi everyone, it's Mr. Kushner here. Sorry I'm absent again. Today I'm actually coaching our girls golf team in the Gateway Conference Tournament. Hopefully we win it. If we do, you'll hear about it tomorrow on the Morning Rays. Wanted to just walk you through today's lesson though and explain the assignment you'll be working on. So today we're talking about something called a VO, which stands for voiceover also known as B-roll. I'll use that term down the road on another day. There's also A-roll. Uh, we'll get to that down the road, but B-roll and VO, voiceover, all the same thing. Now, a VO is just a series of shots or a collection of shots that are talked over by an anchor or reporter or someone on a news broadcast of some sort. So, basically, these video clips are all similar, they all have the kind of the same theme, uh, therefore they're all related and when they're pieced together, edited together, they can help tell a story about whatever it is that you're choosing to record video of. Now, a couple examples of a VO and how it can be used on a newscast. Anytime you see video of a crime scene or maybe a car accident, well that's a VO because it's a collection of shots that tries to tell the story while an anchor or reporter actually talks about what happened, basically who, what, when, where, why, and that's how they tell the story with their voice uh, to tie along with the video that we see. Also, file a video of a person just means older video. So for example, over the weekend O.J. Simpson got out of jail. If I wanted to show video of his football playing days or even his murder trial back in the 90s, that's file video. Basically we're pulling it almost out of a filing cabinet. It's still VO or a voiceover that we could use to tell a story. And then finally, highlights of any type of event. A uh, sporting event, band concert, anything, you know, a pep rally, uh, you would potentially use the best clips, edit them together to tell a story. All right, so here's an example of a, of a voiceover without the script, and here it is. So this was a couple years ago when I worked at First Coast News. I came out to Atlantic Coast to do an Athlete of the Week story of a girl named uh, Brittany Bowald. She's now at JU on their track team, but she was a state champion triple jumper, and so this was the video. If you listen in, it's just natural sound or the breeze. Um, so what I ended up doing was I edited the video and that's what it looked like after I recorded it. And then I wrote a script to match up the video. So for example, when I made the reference to her signing with Jacksonville University, well, we wanna make sure that we see that signing of, with JU so it matches up because the video has to match the script and the script has to match the video in order to have the right timing. That's something you'll be doing today. Now here is an example of a VO with a script. And so here it is, another clip from my first Coast News days. This was one of my last appearances on that station before I left to become a teacher here at Atlantic Coast. So I'll let you listen in. The Generals are uh, doing big things this year. They are on the cusp of making it to the playoffs and if things go their way tonight, they will get in. Small played wide receiver for the Gators from 2000 to 2004. It's his fourth full season as the head coach at Lee High School. And last night his team defeated Fletcher 17 to 16 that win should get them into the playoffs for the first time since 2008. And he certainly got a lot to celebrate. He plans on doing that with his orange and blue brethren this weekend. And so the part where you saw a video of the football coach, I had recorded that the night before. And then when it came time to actually talk about the story, I was actually just reading my script live on the news. And so it had the original video with just the natural sound of the football game and my voice was added to it, pretty easy. And now for your assignment. You can see it's a group assignment. I don't want groups any larger than five. You can work with the same groups as you have been. You can change your groups around, doesn't matter to me. But what you need to do is pick one of these four different topics as you try to tell a story with the video that you're gonna record. So, if this is seventh period, well, obviously people are eating lunch right now. But as a, an example, what do people do besides eating lunch? Are they talking? Are they on their phones? Are they listening to their earbuds? Are they sleeping? Get, uh, go outside and get a collection of video clips, we'll say five video clips, to show me different things that people do either inside or outside the cafeteria. Choice number two, uh, any signs that you can find around the school to promote certain upcoming meetings or teams 
or anything like that. Uh, you can basically get a shot of some of the signs and then uh, tell a story about what each sign means. The third one, you can just introduce each member of your group. Have them on camera for four or five seconds, striking a pose, doing a dance, whatever you want to do. And then when it comes time to writing the script, you'll just write the person's name, give their nickname or some of their hobbies, uh, anything like that, just to tell us a little bit about each person in about four or five seconds per person. And then finally, you can just take the camera and give a tour of Atlantic Coast High School. Show me each different main building. Here's the gym. Right now, there's hundreds of students in there playing basketball. Uh, here's the cafeteria. I got a bunch of people eating lunch right now. Here's the auditorium. Mr. Reed's teaching a theater class. Don't interrupt his class, but you get the idea. And so what I would like in this assignment is for you to have your final edited video to be at least 20 seconds, which means on the sheet of paper you turn into the substitute teacher today, you need to have at least 20 seconds worth of a script. We're not going to record your voice today, we're just going to have the script so that way if you hand it to me, then you, I can read through it as I watch your video and it should time out to where if I'm talking about the gym, I should be seeing the gym. If I'm talking about the 600 building, I should be seeing the 600 building. So if it's a minimum of 20 seconds for your edited video, try to make each shot at least four or five seconds. That means about one sentence per shot. You may have four or five seconds to get us, excuse me, you may have four or five sentences to get to that minimum of 20 seconds total. Not 20 seconds per shot, four or five seconds per shot. So the script is due today. Edit your video today. If you uh, need help, try to find someone who knows what they're doing. We've done this a few times already, nothing's changed. You need to save the video to the desktop, then take the SD card out. You don't need it anymore. Open Adobe Premiere, import the video into Adobe Premiere, and then start putting your in and out points in there, dragging them down to the sequence, and then when you have your script, write the script to match the video. You can read it in your head or out loud to see how well it times out. So um, I'm going to be collecting those scripts, turn them into the sub, and uh, we'll advance and move on to the next phase of this assignment when I get back to school on Thursday.